friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Right now, I need you to smash the follow button so that you don't miss out on any of our awesome stories. Well, today's story, we are hopping into chapter two of Juniper Cassidy, Gemma, and Violet's crazy adventure, Rescuing the Stinky Crystal. Holy smokes, have you heard part one? Well, that was crazy, but this is about to get crazier. Are you ready for today's adventure? Me too, let's go! Wow, this is a really cool crystal. It glows like bright green and yellow and... And it smells disgusting. The boss is gonna love this. You see, the purple ninjas were now traveling back through their tunnel that they had dug underneath the castle to bring this stinky crystal all the way back to the stinky lab. Yeah, and uh, I think we're actually going to do this correctly this time. Ah, we could totally go for a win. We've had so many failures. I can't handle any more failures, said one of the purple ninjas. Well, meanwhile, up at the castle, the four girls, Juniper, Cassidy, Gemma, and Violet, were all traveling down the tunnel with their headlamps, getting closer and closer to where the purple ninjas were. All right, we got to move a little faster, but we got to stay quiet, said Gemma. How in the world do we know where we're going? Are we even going the right way? said Violet. I know, there's been a lot of turns and... But we're doing our best to follow all these purple footprints. They're kind of getting harder and harder to see now, said Juniper. And they were right. The purple ninja's footprints, they disappear over time. A very fresh purple ninja print, it has a little bit of a purple glow. And so when you're in a dark place, it's really easy to see them. But they do start to fade pretty quickly. So as they're traveling deeper and deeper, further along in this tunnel, it became harder and harder to follow these footprints. Oh, wait, there's another one over there, said Violet. Let's go. You see, the tunnels underground, the purple ninjas had found their way into an old mine shelter. You see, underneath mountains, there can sometimes be a lot of tunnels from a long, long time ago. When people were looking for gold or diamonds or coal, they would dig these big, long tunnels underneath mountains. I think that was how the purple ninjas got into the castle in the first place. So it was like a big maze of tunnels underneath this mountain. What about you? Would that be a scary thing or an exciting thing to go through a maze of tunnels underneath a mountain? (laughs) That would be pretty scary for me. I don't know if I could do that all by myself. These four spies are clearly very brave. They've been very well trained but I hope they're able to rescue that stinky crystal in time. Hey, wait, did you hear that? Said Cassidy. Shh, everyone, quiet. Up ahead, they heard the purple ninjas. All right, guys, I think we're almost to the exit. It should be right around this corner. Uh, yeah, right up there. I can see the light. Okay, once we get up there, uh, the blimp should be waiting for us, uh, but we gotta hurry. We don't want the spies to know that we've stolen this crystal. All right, we're running out of time, said Gemma. Everyone, get your glue shooters ready. Hurry. The four spies grabbed their glue shooters out of their packs. Violet started running off towards the purple ninjas. Purple ninjas, you better stop or else you're going to get stuck. Oh, dear. Uh, What do you mean we're going to get stuck? We're ninjas. We can get out of anything. And we're almost away. You're never going to catch us. Ha 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 ha. The purple ninjas started running as fast as they could. The four spies could see the purple ninjas holding the stinky crystal. Hurry, get them. Violet was the first one to shoot a whole bunch of glue towards the purple ninjas. (laughs) The glue launched out and stuck onto the purple ninjas feet. Oh no. Guys. What are we going to do? Gemma, grab the crystal from them and let's finish them off with spraying him with some more glue, said Cassidy. Gemma grabbed the crystal from the purple ninjas. Hey, give that back. All right, purple ninjas. It's time for a glue shower, said Juniper. 
go! As the glue started shooting and spraying all over the purple ninjas, they were completely stuck. Yes! All right, we got to get this crystal out of here. Shh, HQ, HQ, this is Gemma. We have the crystal. It was stolen by the purple ninjas, but we rescued it. We need emergency backup now. Shh. Great job, team. Yes, we'll send a drone your way immediately to remove the crystal to a secure location. Great job, spies. As Juniper, Cassidy, Gemma, and Violet ran back towards the castle, they sealed up the tunnel that the purple ninjas had dug through in the ground. Oh, dear. What are we going to tell the boss this time? We've told him every excuse that I can ever think of. Um, do you guys have any ideas? Well, um, we could tell him that our dog ate the crystal. No, no, we're, we're not going to use the dog excuse this time. We've already used that one. Shh. Purple Ninjas, I need an update. How is the mission going? Shh. Oh, no. It's the boss on the walkie-talkie. What should I tell him? Tell him about the dog. I'm telling you, it works every time. Shh. Well, uh... Hey, boss. Uh, yeah, well, uh... Unfortunately, my dog ate the crystal. Shh. What are you talking about? Your dog always is getting all of our things. What kind of dog is this? Bring him here now. Wait a second. No, you used that before. Did you lose the crystal? Shh. Um, uh, I don't know how to answer that. Shh. Purple ninjas, what in the world is going on? Get to the blimp now. Shh. Well, we're kind of stuck here. Um, could you actually send some help to get us unstuck? Shh. This is all making sense to me. You mean... You got the crystal, and then the spy team got you stuck with their glue, and then you lost the crystal. Is this true? Uh, you, yes, we are stuck on glue. Shh. No! Wow, great job, Juniper, Cassidy, Gemma, and Violet. You guys saved the stinky crystal, which means you saved planet Earth from living in a terrible smell for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I'm sorry that you didn't get to spend two more days at the castle, but maybe, just maybe, HQ will make an exception for a sleepover one day at the castle. The end. Great job you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid. Shout outs. I want to say hey to June from Utah, Gavin from Florida, Cooper from Puerto Rico, Wade, Brandon, Luke from Cary, North Carolina, Max from Italy, Beacon and Declan and Cormac from Nevada, and Nora from Australia. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day. <laughs> And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!